right hello everybody it's um the next month uh let's get arty and it's all about windows this week this month yeah i'm gonna do because i've been doing a lot of things with windows i'm gonna carry on with that because i've got stuff out at the moment to do because i've been doing that so that's what i'm gonna have this month anything with a window on it you can do you can do your cutouts or you can actually do a window <laughs> i might have a go at a window actually so i'm gonna use this stamp oh sorry i'm gonna do some tea bag um stamping in a bit so that's where that from was from but i thought that would look nice down here yeah and then i'm gonna have um a window stamp there you can use a stamp you can use it doesn't have to be bees it's just that i'm doing bees and i thought i would uh, might do something similar to actually go in my journal but this is going in my rolodex of course so i just thought i would come on and show you what i'm doing and like i say please join in it's good fun i've got I've, mine is really filling up now and it's looking great got quite a few now i was so pleased i started it because i I've, I've always you know wanted to do one um so i think that's going to go there and so i'm going to put the hole here but um let's come in a bit it's quite a big one for this but that's okay that's gonna go there only just left enough room really am i never mind got to use it now and this is a free printable so and this is going to go there just enough i'm going to cover the back anyway but that's going to go on there so i'm going to cut that out Okay, I could have come, done with coming in a little bit, but I am, like I said, I am covering it and I could actually stitch around it because it's big enough these are to stitch. The one and a quarter I struggle with, I will say. Let's put that down there. Oh, it's actually better if I got only first seeing. For you, really. So I'll put that down like so. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I've just stuck mine together. Okay. Let's put these tea bags. So I have to put things together. Do you know what? Because I just, my mind at the moment, it just keeps wandering off. It's like I get really distracted. What was it I was doing? Oh, Sunday. That was really funny. I was supposed to be editing the video. I ended up painting, not painting, but drawing a turtle on my iPad. Now, what was that about? <laughs> so. I will test this stamp because I haven't used it yet. So, oh, these backgrounds, uh, one I'd done right at the beginning, I think, of the roller decks, where it was the bits of paper that you stick on and then tear off. And that was in the in there. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to use that because it's going to go with what I'm doing. So, right, let's have a look at that. I do need a block for that. And I do want it straight. I could do one more lines on actually, make sure it's straight. I think we'll be all right. Okay. Right, I'm going to use, what am I going to use? If I use Versafine, it's just that I, these sort of stamps really need something like Versafine. Because they're detailed. Let 
It might be too black here. That's quite heavy, isn't it? Do you know what? I'm going to go with it. Go for it. Just a little bit heavy. But I have that black line on the circle, so... Let's put our head forward, so folks. It's going to heat set that in a minute. Right, where did I put that? There we go. Right, I'm going to use. Um, Ground espresso on that. It's quite dark this one, but that's coming off. I have to glue it back on. Could have done with it being just a little bit um, smaller, if you know what I mean. So I'm not going to put too much on. Another for Queen. <laughs> I got. Um, oh my gosh! I've done so many. I don't know whether you've seen them, but <laughs> I just couldn't stop making them. Do you know? What I actually. <laughs> that's. Um, I really like that. I have a napkin. I'm just wondering whether. I don't know whether they're going to be too big. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. I know I've got other, uh, the other stamp, but I just... I quite like my napkins, as you know. See, we'll... To be honest, he'll look nice there, but that's going to be in the way of that, isn't it? I think I'll have him there. I'm going to take a bit more of this off. Definitely do with one more bee, sort of here, but a little one. Don't think I've got any. Oh, I might actually. Wasn't there some bees on another napkin with butterflies? Didn't I have some of those? Right. And I said, didn't I, when I'd done that, that, oh, I must keep those for my bee journal. Right. Okay, I'll go and find that in a minute. Okay, I found a few. They're all still a bit quite big, but I have one of my, um, I've seen that one anyway, original ones. See, they're quite big as well. It was on here. I think that's the one I was thinking about. And then there's the one here. That looks more like a, a wasp. But, um, so I'm going to use this one here. Actually, that would look nice in a circle. <laughs> So I've already taken the backs off to save time. I've used this napkin a lot. I haven't got too many left, but he's quite nice. Let's have him.
That's definitely the right size, perfect. <laughs> Painting with napkins, see? Eh? <laughs> nice if you can draw them. I haven't tried to draw them, I don't know. I might be able to, I don't know. I always do things on my iPad first, and then I sort of get, because, you know, I've always wanted to be able to draw and paint and things like that, but, um, let's say I do my faces and I'm quite confident doing them now, but um, I want to do flowers and things like that, so it's taking me a little time. I'm just doing a little watercolour course at the moment, so, okay, do we want another one there? No. Nope, leave it, because we've got one, two, three. Leave it. And we'll have a dangle on this one, I think. Down here. And I might paint... Oh, it's not going on. might paint this in a bit. Even though I didn't use um, stays on or archival, so I've got to be careful it doesn't run, but... I should be right. If not, then I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to worry. Um, is this heat resistant? Might be actually, yeah. But uh, anyway, just in case. Okay, all I got here. I've got my little palette. It's quite handy for little jobs. Let's have a look. Oh, too much water because it will run. Let's have a look. I might even be able to make this run if you know what I mean. So. Spread it out, sure, it's not too bad, so we are quite safe. Um, sort of brownie. It's quite concentrated, so. Mm, not quite dark enough, I don't think. Okay, just added a bit of something. Okay, what we got here? Oh, that might be alright. This looks like red though, doesn't it? Crimson, yeah. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Okay. And if I now ink up, It's great doing all these um, different backgrounds. So when you've um, you haven't got a lot of time, which I haven't this week, because I've got a few appointments to go to, and of course, and it's um, the new month, if you know what I mean, of doing them. So it was like, oh my god, what am I going to do? So it's quite handy. I shall do another one in a couple of weeks, because like I said, I'm sort of this will remind me that I've done a B album, if you know what I mean. So. Let's go. Oh, oh no, one minute. We need to back them first. Right, I'm going to just go and cut out a couple out of coffee stain paper and I will back those and I'll make a course of hole in that one so it's totally see through. Okay, right, this is only thin cards. I mean, if anything, I should have made my life easier by cutting two pieces at the same time. Okay, and then doing the circle. All right. Just that it's easier that way but if you've got two thin pieces then it's okay because it'll go through um so what i did was i placed that on there like so okay and then place that right and that wasn't cut out and i sort of picked it up picked it up together then i turned it around drew around the circle and then i punched it and it's worked out 
not too bad <laughs> but like i said should have done it um before and and then just the other one didn't have any holes in so we're all right there okay, i'm going to cover this one i don't need to cover this but i am because this is quite a flim flimsy piece of card i think it's coffee stained card that's all so that's why i'm doing that and it'll be the same sort of balance as that then I think I explained in like the first few videos about my dies that I've got and I've also mentioned I've got a punch as well so and I've got the actual cards so some I do up and some I'll do you know I cut them out of background papers because I, I do a lot of backgrounds oh I've got to take that off Silly, wasn't it? Yeah. Don't be too heavy on the glue around there, even though you do need a bit because of the acetate. Okay, I know what I want here. I want like BU here. So I have some, um, I can either print it out or I've got some um, tissue paper with some from the Dana, Dana Wait, Wakely, Weekly or something. So I might have to go and get those and put them there. Um, so I'll put them there after lunch and I'll do the dang dangle now. Can't have it too long, can we? that I have got is these square ones so I might as well use them for a change I think they're the original ones that come with the this the crocodile let me get let's take I've got the right one on there never mind I haven't I haven't <laughs> so, mm. I keep telling myself it doesn't matter or well, they go together nicely <laughs> yes it was is an original one you can tell can't you they're just so smooth I don't know what I got I might have to steal oh I'm just wondering where we could put a little decoration there that might look nice along that window i am going to put some face stitching around there you know i really am so keep your fingers crossed <laughs> don't spoil it um, I'm not, some of these don't work now oh, that one's okay I just want a little bit something. I'm not sure. I quite like the way that bit of paper's there. It might be too big still. big yellow ones there yeah I had the, I've got the dentist tomorrow and they've just rang up to say they want me want us in earlier so yeah I'm just gonna do that and then I'm gonna have die cuts going going around there as well right where's my sponge
Ano ba today? <laughs> feel it's a bit too big I needed it to be smaller so what I'm going to do I'm just going to cut that off a little bit okay okay and words Oh, dangle. Um, I found that one. So I'm not going to um, put a grommet on that one, I don't think. Just make another fold. That's just cut out of, um, what do you call it? Collage sheets. And I'm going to make that smaller. Very central to that. <laughs> so I will be using the grommet now. I've changed my mind. <laughs> Cover up my misjudging in the centre of that. Look. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I had a small enough bumblebee to go on there, you see? Because that could look quite nice, couldn't it? Yeah, I'm going to use a grommet now. I don't need a bigger hole, so. It's really funny doing all this it reminds me of going back years and years ago before there was all the embellishments out there and then we all went a bit crazy didn't we on oh it was also pretty i think that just just work actually i remember it used to make things out of wrapping paper cut the images out of wrapping paper and decoupage them onto to card and then they used to make my little floaty embellishments and things <laughs> tweezers so. okay what i'm going to do with mine okay because i want it shiny so either use um gel gloss medium or you can heat emboss it so i'm going to heat emboss mine today i think that i'll just um 
give it a lift because like I say it's just napkin and then I've used matte collage from Tim Holt so nothing is shiny but I actually want it shiny like these so I'm gonna do that right Mr. Dauber let's see if we can um I put a hole in the top <laughs> I stabbed it a few times, so I'm hoping that, yeah, because I couldn't, it was really hurting my hands. So if I leave that there for a minute, and I'm going to use the vintage beeswax. No, sorry. Sorry, Seth Apter. <laughs> it's vintage beeswax by Seth Apter, that one. Well, that's um, working its way down. I'll just put those in there. See, I'll make them all time. I'll just cut those bigger ones up. That's um, it's called Tiny Tabs by Sizzix, but it's discontinued. But I think Sizzlix do similar. Right, loads of little sort of tabs and things like that. So they're great. So I, I use it all my odd bits up. And then because you've used odd bits up, it doesn't matter about cutting them down, does it? Or doing anything to them because it really doesn't. All right, let's see. I think that's actually working. Yeah, loads better. Because remember, I just couldn't get it out. Really couldn't. And I checked there wasn't no seal under here, if you know what I mean. So I thought, well, perhaps that's what it is. You know, like you get your ketchup and that, you've got to take that seal off, haven't you? Nope. Oh, do it the other way. Okay, that's better. That's better. Yeah, so that worked. I just pricked it a few times. <laughs> I think I've done it with that. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I didn't I tell you what I'm gonna have to do, isn't it? Shabby chic one. So I, I need to do a roller deck so every time I do a journal as well, so it reminds me what journals I've done. Yes. Good idea. Because <laughs> I forget. I know I got my videos, thank goodness, because I wouldn't I wouldn't remember. It's funny when you have to watch your own videos, isn't it? <laughs> See how you've done something. I think, how did I do that? Well. like that and um, we need some oh i'll tell you what there is is that because it doesn't matter that's too big for a journal unless it's on the outside so i'm going to put that there okay it's quite lumpy that one let's make sure that's okay I've no idea what week we're on, you know. It's bad, isn't that? Okay. Here we go. Uh, 
Um, I think I'm going to just add a little bit of something darker around the edges. Um, bit of walnut stain, if I got it here. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Grand Espresso. Let me do that. Just to... I don't actually want to, you know, do too much, but just need a little bit. That's better. Just to frame what we've done. Right. Okay. I'll go and get the words. I'll go and have my lunch and then put the words on. And that's that one. Okay. And when I come back, it's really funny. It's fresh eyes, isn't it? I thought, you know, that looks really odd. So I've cut another one down and I'm going to put that in there and another flower. Okay, like I originally was going to do. I just looked at it and I thought, oh, that looks a bit silly. I think it was too much going up there. And I wanted something down here as well. Didn't look very balanced. So far too much of that on there. I don't know why I do that. But <laughs> what's this? It's only because I like peeling it off. <laughs> so I'm going to put that there. And I'm wondering, I could use that on there. I could stick that under that, like so. Yep, that's better. Okay, and I've got these. So I can steal. An E. <laughs> oh, I'll show you what they are in a minute. Um, there, there's those. Okay. There's quite a few. I've quite a few in there, so. Uh, take the full stop off and get it. I can get it closer to the edge of the page because I want it sort of here right there okay like that it was too crowded everywhere else so that's <laughs> that don't go on there <laughs> There we go. No K. 
Okay. Yes, a bit. Right on, there's more. There we go. It's getting lovely. Imagine it all done. I can't, I'm just, that's brilliant. So I'm going to keep going until it's get no more on there. <laughs> okay then well thank you very much for watch it, watching i might do these two up now and um i'll come back to you when they're, they're done i'll do another window or something okay yeah that's cool <laughs>